Okay, this was a nightstand I picked up on Marketplace. Um, I decided I wanted to texturize this, so I took caviar with the sea spray, mixed it together to like a brownie batter texture, and I stippled it all over. And I even stippled on the front drawer. Um, but I have that up at the house because I'm going to decoupage it. Um, I'm not wild, wild about that flower. So I am going to take a piece of widget bin. I'm going to put that on there. But first I have to sand this back. Um, but it's all ready for the coat of paint. And I'll put that on after I after I add the widget bin to it. Okay. I'll be back when I do the antebellum blue paint. That's, I think that's what I'm going with this one. Antebellum blue. So my next step is the antebellum blue. I'm painting on over the black texture, the sea spray that I did. Painting that. So I'm going to paint this whole thing on one coat, see what see what it looks with one coat and that looks pretty neat there I just took need a little more texture after I painted the whole thing with that antebellum blue I came back and sanded everywhere to bring out the texture black that was under there the sea spray with with the, the caviar then usually um when I have a piece that I'm going to black wax I put clear on first that way it gives you a barrier that you can work with um, and I forgot to do that uh, so that's why my piece turned out so dark but I'm gonna show you something that you can do if that happens so you take your clear wax and put it where you want To erase some of that black wax. I mainly want to erase some of it in the center. I, I want it to lay in the crevices and any kind of cracks because that's where you have normal dirt laying. So now I'll come in here with my clear wax. It acts like an eraser because I forgot to apply it under the black. Then You buff it off to however light you want it. A lot of times I go from the center and push out towards the edges so that, again, the cleanest, lightest part of the piece is the dead center. So see that, that light, light, that lightened that up. Um, a lot better than what it was. I just, it sucked up too much of that black wax and I didn't want it that dark. So I'll do that to all the sides. I decoupaged the shelf. I'll do it to this side too. I also decoupaged the drawer on the inside. So now I'll go ahead with the clear wax and try to get some rid of the so get some of I can't talk today get rid of some of the black wax okay I'm not sure if you can tell with the video here how much lighter it got in the center I was able to take a lot of that off I even took a lot off um, that was that was on the front here like this was too dark um, and then this side it's hard to tell through the the top really worked better because you can hardly even see this mandala I put on there. So I used the clear in the center and just worked it out to the edges, leaving the edges darker. Now I'm coming in on the decoupage because I want to make this look like it's it's old. So I'm coming in with black wax and I put it in the crack and drag it towards the center. And I'll do that all over the whole outer edge of the decoupage paper I drag it towards the center because I want the darkest the darkest to be on the edges I'm 
Okay, so now I'm going to let this sit. I let it sit, I don't know, a couple minutes, half hour. Uh, and then I come back and I lightly, um, I lightly take some off, like just rub it around uh, to take some off. And then this will, this piece will be finished. Okay, I'm finished. It's done now. And the, what I added was the decoupage on the side of the drawer, so I think that adds a nice touch. And the Mandela on the top. And like I said, this is the antebellum blue, textured underneath, the textured paint with the sea spray uh, and the caviar, and then antebellum blue, then I sanded it, the edges, and black waxed the edges. So this thing's going for sale.